Hello, DJ Story here. Today I'm going to show you how to create an advanced gated rhythmic pattern effect using Ableton Live and the gate effect. We're going to use the sidechain function. So I'm going to show you how that works. First off, you need a pad or atmospheric sound that um, has an evolving quality. At least that's what I recommend. You can experiment with whatever you want. So I just made a basic loop there. And then I add another sound, another MIDI track. And in this track, I'm just going to create a little pattern rhythmically. It doesn't have to be in a certain key. It doesn't have to be any particular sound. We're not actually going to hear it. We're just using it for the rhythm. So I'm going to switch the the grid to 30 second notes so I can make more detailed edits and I'm just going to create a series of notes here I'm just guessing but um, this could be a good rhythm it could really be funny but it's just an example. All right, so I'm going to turn the grid off so I can shorten these notes a bit so they're not running right up to each other. And we're going to have a little listen. Let's see. Whoa, okay, those are really fast. Um, and take out some of these. Uh, all right, so um, let's see. Some of these have to go. Okay, that'll work. So we're going to go back over here to our texture sound. We're going to find our effects. It's in this um, top panel here, a second to the top. And we're going to find the gate and just double click and I'll load that up on the end here. And we're going to bring the threshold down. We're going to press this arrow to open the sidechain settings. We're going to enable sidechain and then audio from, we want to choose that sound that we made the rhythmic pattern with. And then over here, we're going to switch this from master. Actually, if you don't see that, you're going to need to enable the ins and outs. And then you come over here and switch this from master to sends only. That way, we're not going to hear that rhythmic pattern but it's still sending audio. And if you look over here, you'll see it receiving audio on the gate effect. So now we're going to play the texture and the rhythmic pattern at the same time. See what I did there is I turned down the release a little bit so that you could hear those um, faster faster rolls in the rhythm those 30 second notes because if you turn the release up then um, the audio doesn't cut out before the next bit cuts in so it, it kind of defeats the purpose <laughs> If you get it too low, you start to hear a little clicking sometimes, so it's finding a balance there. And then we can take it one step further 
by adding like a grain delay or something at the end and then turn the feedback up a bit and let's hear what that sounds like a lot of possibilities. I mean, I could put an auto filter before or after the grain delay and create some sweeps with it. Yeah, I could go on and on with that, but um, you get the idea. So anyway, have fun, and be sure to check out my website, intuitivebeats.com, for more tutorials and articles and whatnot related to DJing, production, and performance. And thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.